Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me today as we read a psalm a day. Today we are on Psalm 15. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. Follow along in your own favorite translation, or just listen along with me this morning. Who can live in your tent, Lord? Who could dwell on your holy mountain? The person who lives free of blame, who does what is right, and speaks the truth sincerely, who does no damage with their talk, does no harm to a friend, doesn't insult a neighbor, someone who despises those who act wickedly, but who honors those who honor the Lord, someone who keeps their promise, even when it hurts, someone who doesn't lend money with interest, who won't accept a bribe against any innocent person. Whoever does these things will never stumble. And that's the end of Psalm 15. What kind of psalm do you think this one might be out of the different types of psalms that we've uh, talked about in the first couple times we came together? I'm not going to answer that for you, but what I do want to say is that, you know, on the, you know, as you just kind of read through this psalm, it almost seems intimidating, you know, uh, Someone who lives free of blame, who always does what is right, who, uh, you know, does no damage in their talk. I mean, you know, sometimes when we, when we say things and we're trying to be helpful or kind or uh, a, even loving, you know, sometimes it doesn't come out that way or the person doesn't receive it that way. So, so how do we not ever damage with our talk? So, like I said, this this passage can seem kind of intimidating. Uh, but I think uh, two things that I, I, I want to kind of note here and just kind of make sense to me is that one, this is talking about living in the tent of the Lord. So maybe it's talking about people who are coming to offer sacrifices. Maybe it's talking about what it means to be a priest in the temple or in the tent of God. Uh, maybe at this point, the temple, well, no, David is writing this. <laughs> So no, there was no temple built. Uh, so going into the tent, into the in, into the inner curtain, the Holy of Holies, I mean, that was a reserve specifically for those uh, priests of Aaron. And so no, they there were very specific requirements. So one, I, I think maybe that has something to do with it. But two, I think also it's a call to living a good and holy life. And it, I mean, it even says at the very end, whoever does these things will never stumble. And, you know, obviously we stumble, but uh, that's not to say that we shouldn't strive for these things. And it's not to say that, uh, um, that we can't uh, be in God's presence and that we can't be in God's uh, dwelling place, so to speak, if we aren't perfect in these things. But I think it's something definitely to strive for definitely to work on, you know, and I know these, these are probably all things that Christians struggle with and say, well, you know, I do okay with this one, but I struggle with this one. But, uh, so I don't think that these are strict requirements that we have to follow or else we're not a good Christian. I think they are ways in which we talk about what are the ways that we should approach God and what are the ways that God wants us, wants us to approach one another. So what did you hear? What did you think? What did you like? What didn't you like? What kind of psalm do you think this psalm is? Write it down. Share it with a friend. Share it with us. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And God bless.